This video is brought to you by our amazing supporters over at Patreon. Hey everyone, it's Ben from Board to Bits, and in this video we're going to talk about how we're handling our scenes. Um, at this point in this series, we've got three scenes that we're working with, and they kind of go in an order where we start at the main menu, go to our level, then to our level end, and kind of progress through that loop. And we're using Unity's built-in scene manager to kind of um, move between these scenes. And we can actually see that in our scripts here. There's a couple places we do it. In our play session manager, we're using it here to load the level end scene. Um, in our main menu, we have this, um, we're calling it up from its actual um, from its actual location and then calling load scene in the level. And then finally in level end UI, similarly when the restart or menu buttons are pressed, we're calling those scenes. And this works fine, but it's not really an ideal solution because if you recall in previous videos when we were doing this every time, I'm having to check and see what was the name I used for these. We could also technically use their index in the build settings, but likewise here we'd have to check in again and see oh, which one is zero, which one is one, etc. double checking those index indices. And it's again, not ideal. So I wanna make this a little bit more, um, a little bit easier for us so that we're not as quite as prone to having any errors because likewise here if I mistype one of these then we're going to start throwing errors that the scene doesn't exist. So I want to make this a little bit more foolproof and a little bit more streamlined for us especially because we're going to want to eventually be kind of building out to a little bit more of a complex scene structure and if you're doing actually all of your levels as um, separate scenes then this is going to become even more critical for you. So what we're going to do is in our scripts folder, we're going to create a new c -sharp script, and we're going to call this scene loader. And we're going to open that up in MonoDevelop. And this is going to be responsible for two things. It's first going to keep track of um, all of our scenes that we have, and it's going to put those into an enum so that we can access them and know for certain that when we're accessing them, we are getting the right scene. And that is going to require a little bit of manual um, manipulation and that you're going to have to, when you add a scene, kind of update this. But it's only in the one place that you have to update it, and then you can access it from anywhere, which is going to be nice. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make this a static class. And I'm going to get rid of mono behavior. We don't need that. We can also get rid of start and update as they are no longer relevant. And so in here, we are going to have a method that will load scene based on enum. And now we need to create that enum, and I'm actually gonna create this outside of the class, so it's gonna be accessible from anywhere, and we'll be able to reference it. So we're gonna say public enum, and I'm gonna call this scene, um, we'll call it scene name. So right now we have three scenes, our level, level end, and main menu, and we are going to quickly go back to our build settings again just to double check the order we have here. Main menu is zero, level is one, and level end is two. So we'll work with that, and we can say here main menu, which I'm going to call this menu main, and then we're going to do level and level end. And so now we'll be able to, when we want to reference which scene, these now align with those, um, with the build indices. So we can refer to these and we know that they're going to be accurate. So in here now we're going to create a method that will load the scene with this um, enum as the way that we access it. So we're going to say public static void load scene and we're going to pass into this a scene name and we'll call it name. That wasn't, I think that's not coming up here uh, because we're, we haven't closed this in yet so it's not, um, MonoDevelop's having a hard time accessing this right now. If we go like this, there we go, now it's resolved itself and it knows that scene name is this enum that we can access. And now all we need to do is basically the same thing that we've been doing in here. We can in fact copy this so we're going to go into the namespace of Unity Engine Scene Management, Scene Manager, and then get the load scene um, method from there. However, instead of loading a string in here, 
you may recall that we do have other options here. We can do a string, we can do the integer build index, which is what we want, and there's a couple other, you can do some modes in there, but we'll do, specifically we're gonna do this integer scene, ind scene build index. And so we'll pass that in as that name um, enum, and we're going to say that we wanna pass that, or um, cast that rather, to an integer. And so that will load the, precisely the right scene we want based on um, based on the um, scene name that we're passing in. So we can save that now. And so now in each of these locations, instead of having to go through all of these namespaces, we can simply say here, for example, here we want to go back to the level. So we can say scene loader dot load scene. And then we'll get our enum here. It's going to automatically say, oh, you probably want a um, scene name dot and now we have exactly the names of the three so here we want to go back to the level so we'll click level and that's all we need there likewise here for the main menu we can oops and we'll add a semicolon to end that line we can say scene loader load scene scene name dot main menu or menu main and the reason I'm doing that is because we're going to have some other menu scenes, and so we'll, they'll all kind of group together, and then we can choose the specific one. It's sort of that idea of category and then specific. Likewise, in main menu, scene loader, load scene, scene name dot level, and finally, in the play session manager where we're going to our level end scene we can say scene loader dot load scene scene name level end so with all those in place now we can go back to our game close out of our build settings and we should see that this still works in the exact same way it's just simply using our kind of shell um, shell script here of this scene loader to do it in a way that's a little bit more design friendly for us. So we can click in here and click start game, still goes to that scene properly, finish the game, return to menu. All works the same way, it's just now that we're going to, this is going to be a lot more expandable for us and more easily expandable using that enum rather than having to double check on a string or a build index every time you want to load a scene. So that's all for this video. Pretty quick one, but like I say, um, another good foundation so that as we expand further, we'll uh, be able to do things quickly and easily. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.